Hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bronnie Saves. Here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, do me a huge favor and follow me over on the other platforms. Today, it's all about Home Depot clearance and penny items. This video is my top requested video and it is finally here. I'm gonna share with you all the secrets, all the tips, how to read the tags for Home Depot clearance, what to be aware of. At the end, I'm gonna show you a clearance tag and we're gonna dissect it so that I can show you step by step what each item on that clearance tags mean. But first, please do me a huge favor and give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the engagement on my channel. Now let's get right into it. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the clearance tags, the level of markdowns, and if Home Depot sells penny items once they convert into a penny because all the items that are in clearance they'll eventually will convert into a penny if you didn't know already. First, let's talk about the markdown that are only in-store clearance or promotions. If it has a .98 at the end or a .00, those are usually just a sell or a promotion going on, which will end, meaning that those are not clearance items. It's usually about only 10% off. The next markdown I wanted to talk to you about is 0.88 and 0.81. Those are usually a manager's markdown. It will not happen at all the stores. The first official markdown ends with the 0.06. That is the first markdown that an item will receive once it goes on clearance and it usually is around 10 percent now it used to be where it would take six weeks from that first markdown for it to convert into a penny but lately and i've confirmed myself that has not been the case for a few months now it's taken way longer than six weeks it sometimes sits for months and it just moves extremely slow but it will convert into a penny eventually now there are some cases where you'll see a 0.05 and that's usually still like a 0.06 that is still only 10 percent off now the next level of markdown is a 0.04 which is usually about 50 percent off which is still an amazing deal if you need that item but me personally i usually wait the last markdown before it hits a penny it's either a 0.03 or 0.02 those usually are 75% off. With Home Depot, stuff don't go 90%. After the 75% off, it converts into a penny. The Home Depot system automatically converts them into a penny when it's time to penny out. Usually those stuff needs to be salvaged, donated, or thrown away. Of course, stores are supposed to keep up with those levels of markdown and mark them down accordingly. And once they hit a penny, they are supposed to be pulled but of course, that's always not the case when a store doesn't keep up with their markdowns. That's when we come in. And yes, Home Depot can refuse to sell you penny items. That is why you use self-checkout and scan it, confirm that it's a penny, pay for it, and walk out. It's paid for. One thing that I do recommend when you find a penny item is blend it in with other items so that it won't be obvious that you're purchasing a penny item. In the past, we were able to check on the employee's computer because it had a price checker on it and that's how we were able to find penny items. I actually show exactly how I used to do it over on my Instagram in my highlights. Now that is no longer available to do because they no longer have the price checker on the employee's computer. The only way now to check if something is a penny is one, going to self-checkout and it rings a penny. Lastly, if you're cool with an employee, they have a first phone, which is basically a handheld, and they are able to scan through that and it will show up on that handheld whether something is a penny. But of course, you need to have an insider or you need to be cool with an employee. Now, it is not easy finding pennies. It is a scavenger hunt, but that's what makes it fun. Here are other ways to get discounts, whether it be clearance or just regular items in the store. Sometimes when there's damaged boxes in the store, a lot of managers will be cool and will mark it down. Of course, that is up to the manager's discretion whether they do it. I never have luck with that. It seems that all Home Depot employees hate me or at least the managers at Lowe's and Home Depot's, they never give me a markdown. Another thing you can do to get markdowns is when you find the clearance items and there are several of those items and the store's trying to get rid of them, sometimes if you purchase all of them, so if you're a reseller, some managers will mark them down a little bit more so you could just take them out their stores. I never have luck with that either. All right, so let's get right into this tag where I'm gonna explain to you how to read 
off this specific tag. So at the top, as you can see, that is basically the product name, the product that they're selling, that you're looking at. This right here is the retail price. As you can see, it says was $179. That basically is the retail price that they sold it for. Now, as you can see that $135.06, that is the first initial markdown. As I mentioned previously, the 06 is the first markdown. So it is $135.06. Now, let's look at this date right here. It says 06. 0622. That is the first markdown that it has. Now in the past, it used to be eight, six to eight weeks from that date. That is no longer accurate and I've confirmed it myself, but that's a good indication how you can sort of keep up with the markdowns that you know that is the first initial markdown it has had the 06. That number 100227, I'm sorry, 741840, that is the store number so that basically means when you're looking for stuff in top stock that is the number that will be written out on the box or whatever item at top stock that's a good way to find top stock items for a hidden clearance now let me do clarify the store number is not the same as the internet number the internet number is basically used just for BrickSeek purposes but you know if you're familiar with BrickSeek I didn't want to really get into detail with it, but if you're familiar with BrickSeek, BrickSeek does not give you um, Home Depot clearance price. I've mentioned in a previous video that it, if it's something is clearance at Home Depot on BrickSeek, it will only have clearance. It won't give you the actual live clearance price at the moment. So that's why for clearance items, I think BrickSeek is a bit use, useless as far as Home Depot clearance goes because you have to still go in store to see what item and it doesn't give you the actual clearance price that it's marked down. Now that bottom number, that 044-021-454367, that one is the UPC. Basically, that's the Universal Product Code Number. So basically that means the barcode at the back of that product or on that product, that is the number that will be on that product. I'm sorry, on that barcode. And that is basically all you need to know as far as this tag goes. Wasn't that so easy? Like it is really easy to read the tag once you know what you're reading. Now you go in the store and you can read every tag and you'll know what you're looking for, which will now make it easier for you to actually find clearance items in the store and to determine whether something is probably unmarked correctly and it could probably be lower than what the tag actually says and if you're lucky as people have been in the past you'll find a store where they'll actually mark them down for one penny it rarely happens but it definitely does happen sometimes it'll just be an employee that doesn't care about his job and they'll just mark it down for a penny or they don't want to trash it so they prefer to sell it to the customer for a penny or sometimes the employee won't know that they cannot sell penny items and they'll just mark it without knowing. I've never had luck where I found something for a penny, but people have in the past. Alrighty guys, this is the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any further questions of what I explained in the video that you feel I didn't explain enough, let me know in the comments and maybe I can make a future video about it. Thank you for the support I received from you, either from likes, comments, engagement. It really does help with my channel and, and I appreciate every single one of you. Alrighty guys, thank you and until next time.